Let's just have a little look at a neat feature of the ATS-25. We're on uh, 49 meter broadcast by now, as you can see. AM mode on a frequency of uh, 6070. If we want to change bands, if we select um, the ham bands, we'll click on ham, and then we'll take 80 meters. Okay, the radio knows that on 80 meters, I'll just bring that in a little bit, we're on lower sideband. You see it indicated there. And there we are on 80 meters. We've got a BFO adjustment as we had on the uh, ATS-20 by hitting the BFO. Well, there we go, we can get the frequency in a bit closer with the BFO. If we go to 20 meters, we'll click on harm again and we'll go to 20 meters. And you can see we're in upper sideband. So that's a neat feature that's obviously built into the uh, the Arduino sketch. I'm assuming there must be quite a significantly more powerful Arduino in this radio because of all the, the various operating features. But I think that's a nice touch that um, it will automatically switch mode for you. If we go back to a broadcast band, let's see what happens. We'll go back to 49 meters. And we're back on, uh, back on AM. So that is a nice touch. Let's have a look at medium wave. I wonder what the steps are for medium wave. Let's go to band and medium wave. I'll just mute that for a second because uh, we'll get a, a, a copyright a copyright strike if we're not careful. Let's go to step, and yeah, we've got a nine kilohertz step selectable in medium wave, which is just the job. We can scroll through in the nine kilohertz steps. We'll go up to the top of the band there, 1602. There's a pirate there. And another one. So there's a few Dutch pirates on tonight. Let's go into another band. We'll go to 31 meters. And um, another thing we can do, as I've shown you previously, if we press the key button, now you, it's, it's a little bit easy to. Okay. To make incorrect presses here, nine point point four into that, and then we can scroll up to Greek radio. Let's have a look at the steps again. And we've still got the nine, so the nine kilohertz step is there all the time. Let's go to ten KCs, and then we can step more easily through the band. Now, one thing I notice, you can probably see it here, is the S meter isn't the easiest to see and it stays pretty static most of the time. Got about a 10 dB over 9 here on Greek radio. It's quite slow to react, it's dropped to an S6 back up to a 9 on 9400. I think the S meter could be clearer and I wouldn't normally have an S3 noise level here so I'm not sure about the accuracy of the S meter but some, that's a minus, uh, minor point I should say but I just thought it'd be useful to look at a couple of the neat little features of the ATS-25 thank you for watching